Okay, guys, be around people who lift you up. Don't be around people who are dragging you down in life. So um, I had a really good time at work today. I had, like I said, a $50 tip, a $30 tip. People really appreciate good service. And it's not that I got it all together. I mean, one guy, he ordered a salad and I like totally forgot his chicken with like the grilled chicken on top just because I was so busy today and he still gave me a good tip. So a lot of... <clears throat> A lot of waitressing is based on personality and just basically being a good enough person to, you know, relate well with people. So I had one guy, one older guy, he was like, your name's Melissa? He's like, I have a granddaughter named Melissa. And uh, he's like, so if she looks like you when she's older, I will be happy. So he gave me a compliment and a um, lot of good people out there. They're like, I love your smile. You got this awesome smile and everything. So what I want to talk about is when you're working, how to get even more success. So <clears throat> this is kind of funny. This is funny to me, so I'm going to be careful what I say. But this is like something that I remember a while ago. Like I talked to my boss, right? He's like, hey, if you um, ever have a concern or anything, he's like, just come and talk to me. And I'm not going to say what it was or anything. So I did. I went in the office with him. And I'm like, remember you said if I have a concern, just tell you? He's like, yeah, tell me. So he shut the door and we were talking. And he's like, look, I want you to come to me when you have something that's bothering you. <clears throat> and so I did. And um, that's how it's supposed to be, right? That's how it's supposed to be. You should be able to talk to your boss. He's already a really good boss. I really like him. And um, it should be the same way in your marriage, right? Or with your family. You should be able to come your husband should be like, you know, come to me. You know, don't be going to other people and talking to other people. Come to me if you have an issue. Same thing with your family. Come to me. So a lot of times um, we want to be able to do that at work. We want to be able to go to our boss and say, how do you want me to handle this? Because this is what's happening. And if I handle it my way, it might not be the best way. So, um do that at work. Take advantage of all the resources. Um, make sure you're, you know, looking to succeed in life. And, um, you know, it, it's good. Don't take things personal at work. Just don't. You know, you're there to work. Um, there's a lot of things that come up and just get over it and just, you know, do that. So that is some of the ways I have succeeded at work. Um, I talk about the different jobs I've had. Like I said that I had a couple that were you know, I, I was laid off, not my fault. Um, <clears throat> I had one boss who was really funny. He, I don't know where he was from. He was from some country and he's like, Melissa, the way you mop, you look like you're dancing when you're mopping. And he actually was like, look, this is how you do it. So he was showing me, um, how he, you know, how he mops. And of course he was doing a better job than me, but this was like this, you know, tractor place that gets really dirty, extremely dirty. And um, I just think back on my jobs and I've really loved working. I think somebody, yeah, somebody had asked me if I enjoy working and I do. I really like working. I like connecting with people. Um, I thrive off talking to other people. I am an introvert. So I do need like time to myself to unwind and relax. But I also get very energized by being with other people. <clears throat> and me and another guy today were talking about, um, you know, just the music that was on Led Zeppelin and stuff, classic rock that we like. Um, so then, let me see, there was another job that um, there was a lot of fun over there too. And I just, I just enjoy working. So, you know, that's an investment in yourself and um, just, use all the resources and um, I have Kevin Leandro again in the court papers today and I'll go over those court papers and I'll go over each thing. Um, he's basically telling me that it's shameful for me to get resources from organizations that actually do help you. I'm telling you the guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't. So there's this place called Mount, Mount Carmel, right? And what they do is they help people who were vets. So my son, you know, he thinks all the help was in my name, right? So my son, who um, is a vet, actually had um, some help from Mount Carmel. And that's exactly what they do. They are there to help vets. And why shouldn't they? I mean, vets have 
vets have served this country. They they help you know us all the time. They lay down their life for us. So when there are organizations out there who um, help other people, um, you know that's that's admirable to be an organization that helps other people. So my point is whether you take resources like I do um, or whether you work, it it's all in how you do it. And um, I was talking to my neighbor. I just got back from talking to him. And, um, you know, sometimes there's people out there who work really hard. They're hard workers. I'm a hard worker and they still need help. So they still have situations that come up especially divorce. I mean, a lot of that's beyond your control. So don't be afraid and don't feel it shameful. Like Kevin Leandro's like, it's shameful, you know, that you take help. No, it's not. No, it's not. Not at all. And um, don't be afraid to take the help. It's actually there for a reason. So that's what I got for now. Just um, use all the resources you can, whether it's from other organizations or whether it's the resources at work.